As Cindy and Alice were looking for a way out, Alice warned Cindy to kill Tommy if she seized the opportunity. They discovered a large disgusting breathing organ which Alice touches and she began seeing visions of dead people. She cries and runs and gets herself injured causing a bone to pop out of her leg. Nick the counselor gathers all the remaining campers to the outhouse for safety. Nick's other colleague is having bouncing castle sex with his girlfriend Joan. Kurt leaves Joan to get something and Tommy comes in behind Joan and kills her. Alice and Cindy begin to admit their wrong and past life to each other which made their friendship grow stronger. Berman later realizes she locked Sheila in the bathroom and runs to find her. Meanwhile, Tommy goes to another camper's location and murders two young teens. Berman enters the bathroom to find Sheila but Sheila attacks her from behind they both fought but Berman knocks her out. Gary comes in and sees this. What's going on in here? What the f Cindy and Alice manages to find an exit above them and cries for help. Luckily, Berman finds them. Cindy? Cindy? As they attempt to help pull Alice up, Tommy comes in and attacks them. He cuts off Gary's head, <laughs> causing them to drop Alice and Berman runs for her dear life. Tommy begins chasing Berman, Nick finds her and they both hid themselves, Crazy can actually smell Berman body scent and catches her almost killing her but Nick comes to the rescue and fight Tommy, Tommy grabs Nick and slashes his leg. Mom! Berman runs outside but missed the bus taking other campers home. Cindy manages to climb up to where she sees an exit through Maryland office. Tommy finds Berman and chases her to Mary Lane office. Berman hides behind a door but Tommy traces her and starts slashing the door with his axe. He catches Berman, pressing her neck real hard but with her last strength, Berman drags a sack and covers him, making him the real ghost. As Tommy catches Berman again, Cindy pushes her way into the room and stabs Tommy multiple times and he dies. Berman and Cindy hug each other and begin apologizing. Alice comes out of the exit and shows the girls Sarah Fear's lost hand. Unknown to them, all the dead serial killers rises from the disgusting breathing organ, making their way to where the girls are. As the girls were talking, Tommy gets back alive and kills Alice. Cindy gets mad and uses a spade to cut off Tommy's head. The girls see Ruby Lane and other demon killers coming out of the exit and realize they are in big trouble, Tommy's body joins back and chases them. The girls locate Sarah Fear's grave and began digging it up faster, to join her dead body with her lost hand. The demon killers surround them in a different direction and attack the girls. They try to fight the demon killers but they are no match for them. Tommy grabs Cindy and slashes her continuously with his axe, while the milkman catches Berman and stabs her continuously with his knife. The girls look at each other and dies. Nick runs to the field with his injured keg and finds Berman. He tries his best to revive her with CPR and he succeeded but Cindy couldn't survive. Back to the present, Berman reveals that she was Ziggy as her real name is Christine. Although she tells Nick that the curse was Reem without proven evidence, Nick doesn't back up the claim because he was scared of compromising his future as a sheriff. Berman tells Dina and Josh that there's no way to defeat Sarah Fear but Dina and Josh insist. She tells them where the lost Sarah Fear's hand was. They go to the tree which is now located at Shadyside Mall where the Nightwing camp used to be and find Sarah lost arm. Berman attempts to call Nick regarding the issue. Dina and Josh goes to where Sarah dead bone was and joins the hand together with the body, to Dina greatest surprise she finds herself in 1666, where she is now Sarah Fear. 
make sure to watch the part 3 of the movie to learn how the movie ended. If you enjoyed the movie, please subscribe and comment, this helps our contents reach out to thousands and millions of movie lovers like you. Thank you so much for watching.